Good morning. And I thought I'd spend the day today taking you guys along with me. And we're going to do a little organizational vlog. And I'm also going to share with you guys some incredible finds that I got from Amazon. Our fridge is an organized queen right now. Time to lay down the new rug. My new rug for the living room has finally arrived. You're going to help us build it? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Best breakfast ever. This is pronounced malawak. It's basically this puff pastry that you pan fry. It gets all fluffy and you can literally put whatever toppings you want. The way I like to eat it is kind of Israeli style and I make my own pizza. And this is honestly like the best thing ever. And I know, rare moment, Haley's actually not drinking coffee today. I have a little bit of a sore throat so I just wanted to go ahead and make myself some tea with like a ton of lemon because I need that burning feeling in my throat right now. But hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm honestly spending majority of the day at home. There's a lot of home stuff that I need to do in the sense of organizing Something huge on my list today is to go ahead and clean up the girls closets including my own And I thought I'd spend the day today taking you guys along with me And we're gonna do a little organizational vlog and I'm also gonna share with you guys some incredible finds that I got from Amazon Because Amazon is my absolute favorite place for anything home organization Oh, and it's so exciting too guys and my new rug for the living room has finally arrived I listened to your guys' suggestions and I chose out something in the style of the majority of you guys were suggesting so stay tuned to see what that's gonna look like but for now i'm gonna finish up my breakfast and then we'll head on in hi naomi hello good morning you know what time it is time now time to lay down the new rug babe we've already been through like three rugs already in this house we haven't even lived here for more than two months i know that's the thing though i have to find the perfect rug for the perfect space and i'm hoping I mean, I haven't opened it up, but I'm hoping that your guys' suggestions would be good. You guys remember my living space? It's a little bit messy right now. I moved everything off the floor, except for this blanket right here. And we're gonna have the rug set right over here. Here's the rug that I ended up getting. And as you guys can see, it's not white. Surprising for me, I know. I got a rug pad to go right underneath so it doesn't slip and slide. But babe, let's do it. You're sweating already. I'm like not planning on returning it. It looks good. I think it looks ugly. Are you serious? Not joking. It's like textured, but it's not white, so like it won't get dirty quickly, but it's still soft. That like Leah can sit on it, it'll be comfortable for her. Alright, before we put the couch back on, do you think that the positioning is good or do you think it should be closer to the window? I don't know, I feel like the rug should be closer to the window oh. because I think when you come inside, why do we see the rug right here? It just makes this place look smaller. Okay, you guys, here is the rug. Ugh, it looks so freaking good. I feel like it ties in the warm tone so well, but at the same time, I love that there's still some texture. And the best part about this rug is that it's dark, so that over time, as people walk on it, it's not gonna be getting dirty. Well, actually, it will be getting dirty, but at least we won't be able to see it. Ugh, no, but it looks so freaking good. Thank you guys for all of your suggestions. I think the texture in this rug is exactly what the space needed. This is an eight by 10 rug. I didn't wanna get a nine by 12 because then it would have just taken up this entire length it would have been too much 
So I got an 8x10. I kind of tucked it in to start from there. And then I made sure to leave some edge showing next to the couch. And then that way it kind of makes the space still feel very big. But honestly, you guys, it looks amazing. I'm so freaking happy. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. I mean, I feel like they're a little bit too close to her face though. Yeah, she likes it though. I actually ordered like a hanging thing, but it's only arriving tomorrow. This oh, she can, reach she can it actually play. Baby, you're so genius. Oh my gosh, guys, she's so happy oh. I get. <laughs> Good job. Don't come with me with problems. Come with me with solutions to the problem. And she really loves it. All right, so before I head on upstairs, I get so many questions on these organizers. I just added a bunch of little coffee pods yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I did a whole vlog where I went ahead and organized this, but got this off of Amazon and I got a pack of four of these risers off of Amazon as well. I use them for everything. I use them here in my coffee station. I also use them right here for my spice racks. You see, there's the riser and then I have a little Lazy Susan with all of my spices. And these honestly just look so good and sleek because they are see-through. These jars are from Amazon as well. I just have them with my coffee, sugar, and matcha, everything that I just usually use very often. And then I just go ahead and refill these pods and then I keep the rest stacked up right there. I don't know, I just get so happy when I can easily like grab and go things, especially when I wanna go make my coffee. And if you do wanna shop any of these organizers I show you throughout the video, I'm gonna have my Amazon storefront linked down below. All of that stuff is in my coffee essentials folder. But something else that's really important to organize is your brain, your thoughts, your tasks, everything you need to do in the day, in the week, in the hour even and I'm very much one of these people that I love to write things down and have them right in front of my face So our fridge our big black fridge is something that we always used to keep a whiteboard on and then Erin and I would jot down notes whether it's for video ideas or just things that we have to do in that week and like yes This is definitely practical But I will say this magnetic whiteboard is like not the most aesthetic and it's kind of like when you journal when you have a nice journal That's like really pretty and organized so well your brain just kind of functions better, but maybe that's just me because I'm very much someone who's into aesthetics. So I found a replacement for this on Instagram and it is the coolest thing ever. Yep. This is a magnetic acrylic dry erase board for your fridge. And oh, I'm obsessed with it. First of all, it looks so good because it's like super sleek. You can go ahead and write things and then it just literally wipes right off because these are chalk pens. And it just looks amazing, especially on a black fridge. We definitely need to get more. So I purchased a set of two. This is a monthly planner and a weekly planner. Wow, this is perfect. Okay, you guys need to see it on the fridge to like fully see it. And then here is the weekly planner. The things that excite me in life. But just look at this. We got our to-do list right over here. We got the monthly plan here that I'm gonna go ahead and fill up with the numbers. And then we got the weekly plan here with the labeled days and some extra space over here to write notes. And even though they did come with their own markers, I really wanted it to look cute and pastel. So for like $4 or something on Amazon, I added this to my cart. And these are just liquid chalk markers in the cutest colors. And I think once I fill in this calendar, it's gonna look so good. As a YouTuber slash social media person, I have a lot of due dates. It's kind of like school so whenever brands have like videos that are due or photos or content that they want to see i literally have to write it down like a due date so being able to see all the due dates right in front of me all the time amazing <laughs> So Naomi's fussing a little bit. I didn't get a chance to fully fill this out, but look at this, you guys. I numbered all of the days and then slowly I'm gonna start adding in things once I get a chance. And we got our to-do list too. So our fridge is an organized queen right now. Honestly, you guys, it would have been really nice if Ricola sponsored this video. With the amount of these candies I've been eating while my sore throat has been hurting. Took you guys to my bathroom right now since I'm already showing you all the organizers that I've been loving lately. I'm gonna show you a couple more I incorporated into the house to help keep it organized, okay? So first, Stuff. The thing is with this bathroom, there's no actual drawers that pull out. Everything opens like this. And because of that, I knew for my makeup, I really wanted to have drawers. So these are actually two stackable Amazon acrylic drawers and they are amazing. So I went ahead and put all my like everyday makeup here and getting ready is just super, super, super simple this way. And I actually personally like that it's clear because then I can really see everything and know exactly what I need to go ahead and pick up. And then I also have these acrylic shelves over here. I use it as my little skincare space. They are so minimal 
minimal you barely notice them and i'm able to kind of like have all my favorite skincare within super simple reach for the third shelf this is what i did and i love this i'm obsessed i don't know about you guys but i personally hate it whenever i keep my hot tools and stuff on the counter overnight and on top of that constantly putting all my hair tools away and taking it out especially if it's something i use every day it's just not productive so the third acrylic shelf i put right over here right under the outlet and i have my two hot tools that i use the most which is my flat iron and then my dyson blow dryer because i also use it whenever i dry up the kids after they take a bath and this is the best thing because when you're using it you can go ahead and turn it on keep it on the counter do your hair and do your thing like i did this morning and then once you turn it off and it cools down you can put it away so easily that it's off the counter but it's still accessible for you when you want to go ahead and use it every day so if you guys have a bathroom situation where you have a wall next to your sink highly recommend doing that then a couple more organizers i have here for my cotton swabs and my makeup remover pads i have these it comes in a couple different colors i got the blush pink and then down here okay these ones are incredible for organizing your bathroom this doesn't look so organized but at least i know where everything is because i have these mini drawers right here that are deeper and they actually pull out like this so i have all my nail stuff in here all my hair ties and stuff here too and i absolutely love that again they're see-through so you can see what's in every single one and they're also stackable so you can put them all flat you can put them on top of each other you can add as many as you want like even if you want up to here and just have a bunch of drawers they're great you see my candy right here but i'm sure that i'm not alone if any of you guys are also obsessed with organization please let me know comment down below organization queens because seriously this just makes me so happy when you know where everything is it's within arm's reach but it like looks nice too there's nothing better but yet i'm gonna give you anxiety with showing you what the girls rooms look like right now all right alia's room we have all the closet stuff and none of the stuff in the closet i got these shelves right here from home depot and i actually got this length on purpose because i want to be able to go and hang some of her clothes here with having enough space that it won't be touching the shelf which is perfect so i got two of these for Aliyah's closet which is like a humongous closet and then in naomi's room it's just it's not better all right let me open this up and let there be light all right the lighting situation won't help what i'm seeing here i mean holy moly we're currently not using this room yet because Naomi is sleeping with us But I got her name sign up. How cute like this is the only corner of the room That's actually cute right now, but her closet these two racks fit perfectly like perfectly And I literally had to build it on the inside so that they would fit But I can go ahead and hang her clothes here and fold up all her onesies and pjs and socks and all that stuff in here This is today's mission right now whether i'm gonna finish it I don't know, but I'm going easy on myself. Alia should be home in like an hour, so I'll do as much as I can in the meantime. All right, so I thought I would start in Alia's room because Alia actually goes to bed pretty early. I have not cleaned her closet out in a while, so there's probably a lot of stuff in here that may not even fit her. Like, yeah, this probably wouldn't fit her, but how freaking cute. And for Naomi, this will be freaking adorable. And I actually showed you guys, I got a bunch of these hooks that kind of help you organize kids' clothes. You can label everything by like three months, nine months, one year. But this girl's got so much clothes, so this may for sure take a little while i also have to figure out how i can put away all her shoes and i literally just threw everything into the closet so now all the hangers and stuff are tangled up but she's got so much cute clothes look at these sets I'm basically like interchangeably switching up between Aaliyah's room and Naomi's room as I clean here and I kind of started to separate some of her clothing and piles this is pretty much everything that I want hung up and we've got a lot of her like little onesies and stuff here too that I have to go ahead and fold but we have a lot of closet space which is great I can't believe that Aaliyah's headbands is now going to be transferring over to Naomi because Aaliyah just does not have patience to wear these but Naomi's little enough for now that she can I completely forgot that I have all these vacuum seal bags of clothes I think for three months so I have to go through these as well and these are are honestly the best storage saver solutions you guys whatever is already little like all of this this is all her newborn clothes i'm already gonna go ahead and fold it up and put them in vacuum seal bags like this and save it for next baby or to give to somebody Your sister is here. I maybe got like 10 minutes done before she started crying. By the way, if you guys are wondering why this is behind her head, she spits up a lot. I know, I know. Where's your sister? Where's your sister? I hear her. Hello! Hi, Leah. Careful, careful, step, step. Good job. Hug, hug, hug. Say hi, Naomi. 
איך היה בגן? Did you have fun today? You had a good time? Yeah? Oh, see, no, me don't cry. Alia, wash your hands first, mama, okay? Let's go wash your hands first. Let's go. Good job! No. We're gonna eat food. What do you mean stop? What do you mean stop? No. First we're gonna eat food? This? Potato? Mashed potato? You want mashed potato? Mm. On the menu today, I'm literally just eating leftovers. I mean Moroccan fish with a side of rice and mashed potato, so that's what I have for myself. She loves rice and fish. And then the third compartment of hers has cottage cheese. This girl loves cottage cheese, right? You want potato? Olives? She asked for olives. I don't think this will go well. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Is it, uh, it's hot. I don't know if it's because she didn't like it or not. Mmm, yummy. She likes olives. More pickles. I don't have any more. No more. Look, all done. Okay. There's no more. No more olives. All done. Okay. Carrot. Potato. Fish. Olives. There's no more olives. What? What do you want? Chickpeas. 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 Well, of course, it's mom's food. Of course, it's yummy. <laughs> Thumbs up, yeah, it's yummy. Let's go play with Naomi. Let's go play with Naomi. We're doing some tummy time. <laughs> Baby, she's doing so good. <laughs> banana? Banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> Let's go, it's a banana. Go. Let's go, it's a <laughs> 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 Oh, you did? What the heck? Oh my god, you monkey! It's a monkey's open banana. It's a banana, a snack. Okay, banana is a snack. It's a banana, it's a banana, it's a banana. Yummy, 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 my tummy. Alright, Aaron the Unpacker is back. <laughs> I'm a ninja. This is the Trip Sharp High Chair, super popular. It's basically a chair that grows as your baby grows. So you can use it with an infant insert. You could use it with a little baby seat. And then after it becomes an actual chair that they can use. It's really cool. Okay, so put all the pieces down. And I'm going to probably build it later. It's Haley the Builder, not Egon the Builder. Yeah, it's Haley the Builder. Then it has to come and fix the mess. You're going to help us build it? The baby insert for Naomi right now. So cute. So cute. She just said so cute. It's 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 so cute. Good job, Aliyah. It's good job. So, as wonderful as today was, we got Aliyah, I don't know if you guys can hear, she's crying upstairs. Usually, majority of the time she goes to sleep, no problem. Tonight, which occurs, she's just not having it. I went in there already one time to give her water, and that's the thing. She cries, cries, cries. As soon as we enter the room, as if nothing happened. And she even tells us goodnight. She's like, okay, Lana, tough, good night. And then as soon as we leave, two minutes in, ah! So in these situations, we gotta just let her cry out and she'll put herself to sleep. We have a camera installed that we're watching her. Yeah, and that's just the reality of what yeah. goes on. And we just wanted to show that side also because as much as you guys always see, remember social media is like a highlight reel, everybody yeah. sees it. Yeah. You know that there are definitely, it's not like every day we go to sleep peacefully and we wake up perfectly yeah. on time. Like we're still tired, we still get cranky with one mm -hmm. another sometimes too. Yeah. And uh, it's normal, again, yeah. we're just saying this to show that it's normal, it happens and like that's part of being a parent and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you guys have that experience too for those that are parents or have friends that are parents so I guess it's not always smooth sailing but yeah but it's normal and we embrace it but either way we thought that we just close up the vlog here yes I have to sneeze <laughs> all of <laughs> We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Hope you got a lot of organization and inspiration in this one. Some truth about parenting as well. But yeah. um, if you are watching up to now, you guys are the real MVPs. We yes, love yes. the ones who stick around all the way until the end. If you are watching up to now, comment down below. Aliyah the Builder. Aliyah the Builder. She, she definitely deserves some recognition for this one. She was so cute. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we can't wait to see you in our next one. Peace. She is sound asleep. <laughs>
You gotta just hold your ground. What is this like the post credit? It's post credit.